James and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be looking at uploading and organizing receipts with the Nanonet's OCR API. Please like, share, and subscribe, and most importantly, reach out to me in the comment section for any help, suggestions, and tips. So what we have here is our little application, right? Definitely a bit of styling with TypeScript particles. And before we continue, I wanted to talk about TypeScript particles. It's a framework, it's a framework definitely for making these amazing particle backgrounds as you can see here. And if we go to our website, if you go to the website particles.js, it used to be particles.js, but that, as you can see, everyone's making the move to TypeScript because less silly errors can arise from it. There's so much support for Angular, React, Vue, no framework, and you want to see some of the samples, right? So you can do amazing things with it. It's just basically a bunch of points and with plenty of event listeners that could be applied to it and plenty of reactions that could take place. So now this cool um, item absorbers, right? So I'm gonna place this orange dot, right? It's getting, everything's getting absorbed by the black dot. But as you can see, if you could just get, and if you can get a particle to come close to an orange dot, right? It could get absorbed, right? The orange dot slowly starts to grow. My particles are starting to disappear. Hopefully you could get some of them to come towards the orange dot. If not, that's okay. It's definitely trying to limit gra gravity. As you can see going along there, like this is probably my um, quote unquote black hole. And these are large masses, but definitely want to change it. And here what we have is a background mask. So there is a background behind this, but we can slowly see it from particles. And the main background is actually white. So that's definitely interesting. And then another interesting thing is what I liked was multiple polygon mask. Oh, not that one. It was actually bubbles. And these aren't really bubbles, these are hexagons, but we can just see the overall point is that we have a bunch of points moving randomly around the screen in our background, and we can do anything with them. So TypeScript particles, check it out at particles.js.org. All right, so now the next thing we want to talk about is the NanoNets OCR API. NanoNets is an API for extracting information out of documents. So say if we have receipts, right? Say if we have invoices, right? We're able to extract that data. And if you come over to our dashboard, right? We can see here that we have an interface we could get started with. These each represent machine learning models. Right? If you click on one, it will generate a machine learning model already good to go. With many examples, we definitely hope, and they're actually pretty good. Right, so I actually uploaded one receipt, but I don't want to keep on going because I only have 100 a month, right? And I'm starting this video at the beginning of a month, so I definitely want to save this from the project. Right, we're going to click on the receipt like so. If we use the net and that's UI, we can see all the information. If we look closely at a receipt with our human eyes, and verify them against the labels. We can see most of them match up. It's not good at grabbing everything, but it's good at it for the most. Now we want to use an API. Right, we can see here if there is all sorts of support, right? We could create a model in the UI as well as the API. And now, so if you want to go ahead and predict. So now we want to have a prediction. We want to predict what our data is going to look like, right? We can use this code right here, right? If you want to go and predict basically what's happening, we upload our receipt, we upload our invoice or whatever type of um, document that has data in it, and then NanoNets will take that according to our model that we created and try to extract the labels like so. And we're going to see that in our front end API, right? So we have we took our photo, it out shows in this canvas area, and this canvas area was supposed to be um, a display for your webcam so that you could take a photo and upload your receipt into the application. Once you hit submit, 
what happens is that this data gets sent over to the Marinette's API through our backend, right? We have the Python backend that's actually going to receive the image and send it over to the Marinette's API. And the Marinette's API is going to send us back this information extracted out of the receipt, right? And then, right, what we can do with our application, say, for example, if it didn't get it 100%, right? Because with machine learning, it's not 100%, but it's good enough. What happens, we can go ahead and edit those values. And once we hit submit, right, this is going to get uploaded into an Azure SQL database, which will be shown be shown to us once I go ahead and create the website page for the dashboard. So that is my little overview of how my project's going so far. Please like, share, and subscribe, and most importantly, reach out to me in the comments for any help, tips, and suggestions, and hopefully in the next videos, we could do some real labs and real tutorials, and I could upload some new videos concerning on how to get all this implemented. Thanks for watching.